Hi everyone, it's Dominique with All Things O Natural, and today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial showing how to use our Natty Natural products to moisturize and lock in the moisture. So the products of choice today are going to be our Natty Moist, which is a multi-purpose um, conditioner, as well as our Natty ACV Hair and Scalp Mist. I get a lot of questions in regards to how to use this guy, so I will show you a demonstration on how I use it to moisturize my hair. And we can't leave out our Natty Butter, which is going to be used to lock in our moisture. And this little guy here, I just melted some of our Natty Butter down to an oil form to impart shine. So with these items, I'm going to show you how I moisturize my hair. Okay? So as you can see, it's pulled in a bun. I pat it down for a few days. So I want to go ahead and loosen up my hair and get it all out and show you how I do this. And first thing note that I want you to know is that I have my hair parted to the side that I normally wear my hair. Um, so what I'm going to do is just start twisting. I don't part my hair to do any type of twisting. So I'm just going to grab and go and show you how it's done. So I'm going to start with the front part. And I take about this much hair. And then I'm just going to pull the rest out of the way. And what I'm going to do is take some of my Natty Moist, apply it to my hand, about this much here. I like to make sure anytime I'm detangling um, or manipulating my hair that my hair is thoroughly moisturized. I never ever want to do that dry. I apply it in. I make sure I thoroughly, thoroughly work it in. And with my fingers, because I love to finger detangle, I just run my fingers through, <laughs> run my fingers through, and make sure that I don't feel any knots or tangles. And the Natty Moist helps me detangle with so much ease. I love it. So as you can see, now I can just gently run my fingers through. Now, the Natty Moist is going to leave my hair slightly damp, not wet, okay? This is going to give, if you're looking for a twist out style, that's going to give you a little bit more length. When I apply the Natty Moist only with my Natty Butter as my moisturizer of choice, it's going to make a little longer, looser twist out versus a more defined twist out, which is when I use the ACV Mist. So... Just apply a little bit more to my ends. Once I've done that, and while the Natty Moist is still damp, I'm going to take a little bit of my Natty Butter, rub that into my hands, and apply right on top of the Natty Moist while it's still damp. What this does is lock in that moisture. So instead of your hair feeling really good when you first apply a product, it stays feeling really good because it locks in that moisture. And again, I'm going to apply a little bit to my ends. And then I'm just going to come in a little so you can see me just twist this up. And then I wrap it around my finger just to make sure that twist stays. And voila, one is down. Again, using the Natty Moist as a leave-in moisturizer is going to give your hair a little bit looser, um, a little, little looser and less defined hairstyle. Now, when I use my apple cider vinegar or ACV hair and scalp mist, it gives me a much more defined style simply because the hair is actually wetter. So, what I'm going to do... Take my band off again. I take a little bit here. 
about this much hair. Hope you guys can see that. Then I'm just going to pin the rest out of the way. And you may be asking, well, what's the difference? Well, the difference is it just depends on if you like to use a spray versus a creamy leave-in. Um, usually the spray can get right to it really quickly. And like I said, it gives you a little bit wetter style, which is going to make your style more defined if you're doing a braid out or a twist out. So I just really saturate that in. And another thing, good thing about the apple cider vinegar mist um, is that it's really good for protecting the hair and scalp from any type of fungi, bacteria, contaminants, or debris. So it's really good for that. I really work that in. Once I feel it is nice and slightly wet, I go ahead and apply some natty butter. To do what? Lock in that moisture. And once I feel that moisture is nice and locked in, I go ahead and I twist. I like doing larger twists simply because it makes the style fuller and it doesn't take as long to do the style. <laughs> I don't like to sit and do hair for long lengths of time so I look for really quick, easy, um, low manipulation styles to do my hair because, and as you can see I'm removing my shed hair. There we go. Twist that in. And then guys, you have the option to, if you feel like you need both a spray and a creamy leave-in, you have the option to use both the Natty ACV Hair and Scalp Mist as well as the Natty Moist Leave-In Conditioner. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a demonstration just showing you that really quickly. So first, I'm going to apply my Natty ACV Hair and Scalp Mist. This is really a good product to use, guys, after a nice workout. It's really good to, it, it's easier to apply towards the scalp to really loosen up some of that dirt. And then you can hop right in the shower and just let it rinse off. Now, today I'm actually demonstrating how to use it as a leave-in. Um, it has a slight apple cider vinegar smell, but the smell really disappears within a few minutes. And if you use it in conjunction with the Natty Moist, you can't smell it at all. So this is just giving me really nice extra moisture. And of course each person's hair varies. Um, their regimen, their routine, and their lifestyle varies. For me, I won't have to re-moisturize for another two to three days and then I go ahead and re-moisturize. I can always tell when I need to re-moisturize my hair by the sound. I really listen and I feel. So in about two to three days, my hair will need to be re-moisturized again. And this is really how I do it, guys. So once my hair is nice and moisturized, I go ahead and lock it in again with my Natty Butter. And then I just proceed to twist. And as you can see, guys, the detangling process was really simple. As I stated before, my hair was really kind of tangled because I had been wearing it out for a few days in a twist out, but it kind of got tangled up, which is expected. So I like to make sure that I do keep it nice and detangled. rid of the shed hairs and then twist it around now the oil what I use this for guys if I want to give my hair a little bit more shine I will apply some of the oil to give some of the shine to my hair it gives it a nice faux sheen come in so you guys can see that and as you've probably noticed I don't apply oils to my scalp the reason why is because our scalp produces its own natural sebum 
or better yet oil when I first massage my hair when I took my hair out of the ponytail holder I could feel the oils on my scalp I don't apply oils to my scalp whatsoever so I could feel them the problem is is that we think our hair is dry because it appears drier and that's pretty much just a reflection of how light bounces off of hair if you have straight hair light reflects off of it easier than if hair has all the curls and bends that our naturally coily curly hair has so it's not going to appear as shiny as it would if it was as if it were straight so we just have to help it along but we don't want to we want to be mindful of putting oils on the scalp because when we do that we're actually telling the scalp hey you don't need to produce any oils I'll put some oils there as well as clogging the pores on the scalp so we don't want to do that and what that can create later on down the line are scalp issues such as dry scalp flaking itching because now your scalp is not producing the oils that it's naturally intended to produce and it's causing it to malfunction okay so that's all the oil is for so guys I'm going to finish this up and I will see you in a moment once my entire head is done so stay tuned Hi everyone and I'm back and as you can see my hair is completely done. This took me to detangle, moisturize, and lock in that moisture anywhere between 20 to 22 minutes to do my entire head. So as you can see my hair is nice, it's moisturized, it's full, it has a slight sheen to it which I absolutely love and I did that like I said in about 20 to 22 minutes. Um, so again this is a recap to on how to use your Natty Moist as a leave-in moisturizer as well as the Natty ACV Hair and Scalp Mist as a leave-in moisturizer to re-moisturize your hair. And don't forget guys to lock in that moisture with your Natty Butter. Um, so again, every person is different. Your lifestyle such as diet, water intake, um, how you care for your hair overall will determine how often you need to re-moisturize your hair. Again, for me, I do it every two to three days and then I always make sure I lock in that moisture. Um, I think I've trained my hair pretty well to hold and lock in moisture, which is great. And um, I think that's about it, guys. So I hope the video was very helpful, guys, very insightful. And if you already have our Natty Natural products, we hope you're enjoying them so much. We absolutely love them. Love the smell, love the ingredients, love the feel. We love them. And if you haven't tried our Natty Natural products, please be sure to visit us at www.nattynatural.com. Dot com. Again, that's www.nattynatural.com. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.